Hey, hi everybody, this is Sarah. Today's video is the Leo forecast for September 2021. This is my take on the energy, and because of that, it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just pass it on by, and I do hope you find what you're looking for. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the astrology for September, and I'm also going to do a really quick card reading. I'm going to be using the Moonology cards, and also I'm going to draw one card from the Crystal Oracle deck that will help you find the best stone to work with in the month of September. We're going to be covering where you are at the beginning of the month, your biggest obstacle for the month, your biggest asset for the month, what your home life is going to be like, your love life, and we will be doing a card for single and another one for a partnered Leos. And then we will draw the outcome or where you will be at the end of the month if you stay on the current path you're on. And of course, always with any type of reading, we always have the ability to influence the outcome. So if we're not happy with the way things are going, we can make changes. Let's do this. September is going to be an exciting month for Leos as we begin a new cycle, uh, very much like a new year is happening for you. I mean, we, we're having those types of changes and you're probably feeling it too. You're probably feeling a lot more optimistic and a lot more ready to go than you were, say, maybe even in May. The summer's not been bad for you, Leo. It's just been a lot of stuff and a lot of indecision too, I think, of trying to figure out which is the best opportunity to take on and what you need to let go, which sounds really easy, except when it happens, it's kind of like overwhelming. So in September, we can expect things to get busier, but to have a little bit more clarity. The beginning of September, really till about the 15th or so, we need to work on finishing up old projects and getting things sorted before Mercury retrograde. It will be a new moon in Virgo on September the 6th, and we can expect happy surprises for Leos. This moon helps us make better decisions also on all fronts, including health, career, and relationships. So this is going to be an, an important new moon for us, and hopefully I'll have time to get a video out just on that. On September the 10th, Venus enters Scorpio, and this is not an easy placement for Venus. It feels rather uncomfortable, so you can expect it to highlight problems with love and finances and aesthetics during this time. Watch that you are not being manipulated or becoming obsessive over someone. Keep the jealousy under control, but it won't last forever and it just kind of gives us an idea of maybe what needs to be changed in those areas. On the 20th, we have the full moon in Pisces. So this is a pretty good placement for the moon, except we might have a tendency to get caught up in our dreams and fantasies and not really get a lot of work done during this time. But we can use it also for inspiration too, as to maybe what we would like to build create. So not bad, not bad at all. It's just not a great day for making lasting changes or finishing projects or doing anything like that because like I say, we will have a tendency to be distracted. On September the 26th, Mercury retrogrades for the last time in 2021 in Libra. So this of course can cause problems with communication, transportation, logic may be off balance, and it could cause problems with our relationships too, where normally it's not so much a relationship issue except for the miscommunication. Normally we have, you know, tiny accidents like you drop your favorite coffee cup or you lose your keys. It's not fun, but it's usually not horrific. You make a doctor's appointment, you double check it, they call to double check, and then you show up and find out that the time was changed, you know, those kinds of things. With this particular one, though, it's going to be more personal stuff going on, like I say, maybe some issues with your relationships, and not just romantic relationships, too, but your, your family, too. There could be some misunderstandings, there could be some problems with things that you thought you already ironed out. I mean, it's, it's Mercury retrograde, it happens, and it highlights what we really need to work on, too. Hopefully, I'll have time as well to get some videos out on that. Okay, so that was the very brief astrology for the month of September, and like I say, I will be making more videos as we get further along into the month. So now let me shuffle the cards, and we will draw the first card, which will be where you are at the beginning of the month. Oh, 
So a whole pile of cards came out. So we're going to use these cards for the reading. And the first card is Have Faith in Your Dreams, Waxing Crescent Moon. This is an interesting card and an interesting placement, isn't it? As we begin the month, like I say, I think you're going to be feeling a lot more optimistic and a lot more positive in general about life. So you probably will be focusing on your dreams. What would your dream job be? What would your dream house look like? What are you and your partner dreaming about as your best vacation? You know, those kinds of things. This is a good optimistic start to the month, which I think definitely will set the tone for the rest of the, well, the rest of the year, to be honest. There is going to be some struggles, don't get me wrong, because you're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone to do some things that you're not really looking forward to, but that's the worst of it. I am working on the forecast for 2022. Hopefully they'll be done before 2022. So let's look at the next card, which will be your obstacle. Oh, that's interesting. Your obstacle is you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Leo does struggle with imposter syndrome and not always feeling prepared or good enough. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It happens to everyone. But it's not something that Leo talks about. Where other signs, for instance, cancer is much more open about these types of things. Leo doesn't talk about it. Leo compartmentalizes their stuff and doesn't talk about their fears or their worries, except with someone that they really, really trust. That's going to be your obstacle for the month. Getting over that and realizing that you are good enough enough, that you do deserve to be happy, that you are credible in your field, and that you do deserve that raise or that promotion. So I think as obstacles go, this is nothing new. This is something you've had for a while, something that you're going to have to continue to work on. I think you're going to be presented some opportunities. This is going to come up. Here it is, you know, you have the ability to do this thing that would be great, but do you feel like you're not deserving of it or not good enough to do it? So really work towards that. What could you do to feel more empowered? Is it taking a class? Is it um, working out? Is it just maybe talking to somebody about these issues? Or maybe even sitting down and journaling and going back over your past journals and looking at all your accomplishments. Look at all the things you've done and all the growth, Leo. Of course, you're more than worthy. You're more than good enough. It's just changing your mindset. So that's going to be the biggest obstacle for the month. So let's take a look at your biggest asset. Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so your biggest asset is to get those dreams under control and get a plan going and a practical plan. As a fire sign, I know a lot of Leos are pretty much like, I'll just do my best and it's going to work out. And a lot of times it does. It really does. And it's kind of surprising, but it does. These new opportunities and these new things happening, I think you need an actual plan. And I think you need to just sit down and write it out. And it could be that you've put off something big, like maybe selling a house that you've been in for a long time to move. It could be something to where you're, you know, really worried about the amount of work that it's going to take. That's why it's important to sit down, write out the steps and start working and do it small baby steps, whether it is, like I say, selling a house you've been in for a while and moving or starting a new career or ending a marriage or beginning a marriage. It could seem like it's way too much. You're more than worthy and you're more than capable, but you need a plan. So that will be your biggest asset for the month is having a plan on how you're going to tackle these things. Be practical. Think like Taurus brothers and sisters that are very practical. Don't leave anything to chance and I think everything will work out. So let's look at the next card, which will be your home life. Okay, this is interesting. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. All right, so are you having some issues at home? Is it something like you're trying to move and maybe you're thinking, you know, in the past it wasn't easy to move, it wasn't something that was fun, it wasn't something that um, you could do, let's say, cheaply. And now you're thinking that, you know, you don't have a lot of money to spend or you don't have a lot of help maybe to help you move or to help you sell the house. Those things happened in the past. Same thing with looking for a new job or going to school or whatever it may be. All that's in the past. We're in new uncharted territory, Leo. This is a whole new game for us. We no longer have those limitations and those challenges that we had in the past. They're done. We've done it. We've push through them. We've done the healing. We've done the work. And now we're on the other side of it. You're creating your future now. So if you think 
that things aren't really going well at home because of what's happened in the past, it's time to get real on that. Is it something that's in your control? For instance, I'm going to go back to moving again. If it's moving, then write that list out and start calling different moving companies. Find out what they charge. And it may vary greatly. It, it may be something that's a lot more affordable than you think. If you're having issues selling your home or something like that, or you think you will have issues selling your home, start looking online and looking at what homes that are similar in, in your neighborhood sell for, and you may be surprised. Right now is the best time to sell a house. Also, if it's something else going on at home with your partner, the past is the past. If you're still there, you've made the decision to push through this and stay together, then you've got to let go of the past. It's time to turn over a new leaf and start fresh because dragging something forward from the past will only poison the relationship. But we'll talk about relationships in just a second. It's actually in the next card. So I'm going to draw a first single Leos and then we'll look at partnered. Okay, single Leos. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So there's been somebody that you've had your eye on for a while and you've been flirting and you've been texting and you've been talking and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, but that's probably going to change in September. I know that you have some love interest things happening in October as well. I think it will go to the next level in August. And if it doesn't, it's not the right one for you. It's just that simple. You're going to see, especially next year, you're going to be surrounded by people and people that want to get to know you. They want to date you. They want to hang out with you. And that's nothing different from Leo. I mean, that's pretty much standard, but we're going to see a big increase in that in 2022. 2020 was just batshit crazy. 2021 has us reeling too about what is normal and what we should be doing and where we should be doing it. And it's it's really interfered with everyone's social life and health too. And it's really interfered with a lot of things on a lot more levels, I think, than people even realize yet. If you're single and you're thinking, well, there's nobody in my life right now, <laughs> just wait. They're about to show up. Just because somebody is showing you interest, but it's fun, but you don't really think you're going to be compatible, there's no reason to take it to the next level. And you don't want to be giving all your time to someone who isn't compatible and miss that opportunity opportunity, do you? Just be aware that things are probably going to come to a conclusion soon and you'll be able to know then whether this person is somebody you want to go further with or whether, you know, you're just wasting your time. Flirting is fun and great and everything, but I think you're at the point now where you want somebody that's more dependable and someone that you can have a relationship with on a lot of different levels. Interesting changes are coming with your, with your love life. So let's look at partner Leos. Interesting. The waning moon, what do you need to release? Okay, so if we go back to what I said a while ago about bringing the past forward, if you and your partner are trying to work through things from the past and you've made a decision to stay, then you need to release the past. I mean, it's just that easy. If you haven't made the decision yet whether or not you're going to stay together, it's time to look at that. Could you move forward? Could you see yourself for the next 10 years with this person? And if you can, think about how things are now. Are they going to get better? Are you going to be able to release some of the anger that you have? Or is it going to be something that's going to eat at you continuously? So Leo, it's really important that you're honest with yourself. If you want to continue the relationship, then you have to let the past go and start fresh. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to your partner. If you're unsure about whether or not you can move forward, then ask yourself, as I said, is this something you think you can get over? And if you can't get over it, there's your answer. There are a few Leos that recently got engaged too, that were partnered uh, and they became engaged, which is great. I would think for you guys, it's more about expectations. Release maybe some of the expectations that you're holding about the future. Our life is uh, very different right now than what it was in 2018, 2019. And that's okay. That's okay. We don't need to get so hung up on the future that we can't enjoy the moments. So make sure that you make time with your spouse, with your partner to enjoy the small, simple things, because those are the things ultimately that are important. I think that yeah, this is this is probably a turning point in the relationship if you can actually let go some of those preconceived ideas or worries. You're going to see a big change. Okay, so if you stay on the path that you're currently on, where will you be at the end of the month? 
Well, that's interesting. New moon in Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. So I would take this card to mean that if you stay on the current path that you're on, that you will definitely see an improvement in your home life by the end of the month. And also you will see a newfound security for you and your family. Things are going to work out and they're going to work out spectacularly. We have to stay positive and we have to do the work. Other than that, yeah, it looks like this is going to be another great month for you, Leo. It's important that you stay positive and you focus on the things that you can do to change the situation. We can't control everything and being a fixed sign, we don't really like change. Even if we initiate it, even if we know it's the right thing, we're still not happy with it because of the variables. And part of that lesson is learning to just let go and roll with it. And like I say, it may not be easy. It may not be something that we like. But overall, I think everything is going to work out great. And I think this card really sums it up. Remember that you are capable. You are good enough. You are worthy. And to sit down and make some lists and break down those big tasks where you can easily start working. I think, yeah. Overall, you're more than capable and this is going to be an awesome month. Try and get everything you can done or at least in motion before Mercury retrograde because, you know, we do have the pre-shadow ahead. So anything that would begin before Mercury, we can continue working on through Mercury. Problem is beginning new things in Mercury retrograde. So, okay, let me draw the best stone for you to use in September. <laughs> I swear I shuffle these cards. Look at how thick this deck is. And yet we keep seeing the same cards over and over. This is Kyanite, and this is one of my favorite stones, and I'll even put some up here on the screen. Kyanite's a wonderful stone because it doesn't have to be cleansed or cleared. It will absorb negativity and then on its own clear it and dissipate it in a way where it's not hanging around your house. Everyone should have kyanite in their collection for sure. It's a great stone to work with when you're feeling tired, when you're feeling depleted, or when you're recovering from an illness as well. Great for grounding, great for clearing and cleaning. Other stones as well, you can put them on the kyanite. I would recommend that you meditate with it. You keep a piece by your bedside table and that you carry maybe a piece in your automobile as well to keep the energy clear and flowing. Overall, this is going to be a great month for you, Leo. I'm so excited and I can't wait to see what next month brings. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, be sure and like it and let me know in the comment section below. Also, let's thank the patrons for their support. This video was made because of them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.